A rows erupted between Colpit Heath residents and South Gloss Council over plans to double the size of the village. Locals say the community would be crippled if thousands of proposed homes are built, with services and infrastructure unable to cope. It's all part of a regional plan to make sure there's enough housing to cope with future demand, as Ed reports. A perfect path for a rainy day walk for locals here in Colpit Heath. But now the consultation over the West's Joint Spatial Plan, or JSP, is over. It outlines the need for thousands of homes in the area, 1,500 of which could end up on this space of Greenbelt land, one of the thinnest patches in the southwest. Because the um, infrastructure is just so tight around here, um, many other local authorities are building only on brownfield sites, for example, in North Somerset and in Bath and North East Somerset. So why decide to concentrate all your houses in one place where the structure is going to be stressed, where you're going to destroy vital green belt? Just because the JSP includes all four local authorities doesn't mean each authority has cross-party support for building on this site. With the proposals also at Yate, uh, some of which could be coming towards Colbert Heath, uh, be, there'll be a big danger that uh, Colpit Heath and Yates will coalesce. As the name Colpit Heath might suggest, there's an ongoing danger of land subsidence in the area as well, something that could see the potential for affordable housing lost before work has even begun. Um, yes, you can do things like fill in mine shafts, build houses on rafts, but that costs an awful lot of money. And the danger is then that we won't get the, the affordable housing that people very much need. From structural to infrastructural, the location of the potential building site has also given rise to concerns over the way traffic and pressure on local amenities could impact the area. We've got sort of single track road here, um, although there's probably options to widen this. The four roads that then lead down onto the main Badminton Road are the width they are. Two of them don't have any pavement on at least one side of the road at point two. So there's nowhere for um, people to walk when they're bringing their kids up to the local school as it is. South Gloucestershire Council have been responding to the concerns of locals and in a statement said, We understand that people want the green belt protected where possible. This was fed back through the first consultation phase, which closed in January 2016. However, this needs to be carefully balanced with providing homes in sustainable locations where there is currently good public transport or there is real opportunity to improve access by public transport. Tens of thousands of houses are needed in the West. Colpitee's contribution is a drop in the ocean by comparison to the total. But as populations increase, fears over losing the identity of this area remain. I'm Ed for Made in Bristol TV. Now, 